What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review, another Transformers review. This is Transformers Generations Titans Return Deluxe Class Misfire and Aimless, his Titan Master. So, taking a quick look at the packaging. So, without further ado, let's get right into the review. The Decepticons unite with Titan Master partners to power up for battle. Aimless gives Misfire a ultra-powerful ion particle fire blast. Unfortunately, it does not improve the low-grade targeting skill of Misfire. When they unite, Autobots and Decepticons go running for cover. Taking a look at the full art in the card. As well as his stats, so it looks like his strength is a 7, and it brings it up to an 8 with Aimless. His speed is a 6, it brings it up to an 8 with Aimless. His uh, intelligence is a 5, and brings it up to a 6 with Aimless. And his firepower is a 3, and brings it up to an 8 with Aimless. Alright, so here's Ez out of the packaging, and he is awesome. Got a couple guns here that post up on here. I'm going to show you both ways transformations because there's a few tricks that probably some people don't really see. But uh, just checking him out, I want to show one thing off. He's got a snap-in head. Hear that? Snaps in now. And you still get some of that, you know, that uh, ball-jointed action here. Hold on. So you can still get him to tilt and stuff like that. So... Um, the articulation is basically the same as any others, except for, you know, you don't get the joint uh, the hinge up here in the top of the shoulder, so it just goes up like that, but it still works regardless. You get the bicep swivel and the 90 degree bend, you get the inward hand thing for the flipping hands, waist swivel that's not to do with the transformation, you can get full splits this way, and full splits this way. So that's good. We got an upper thigh swivel. We got a nice deep bend in the knee, and then you get a ankle that goes up and down. But if you go up like this and then you try to pull it like that, it doesn't work. Or if you go up like this and you try to pull it down like down like that, it doesn't work. So my tip to you is push up on the back. If it's down, push up on the front. If it's down, push up on the back. See? Now you rock it. So then you got front to back rocking ankles. And that right there, other than good head sculpt there, is uh, his articulation. Checking a quick look at his details here. Um, let's get him up here for a minute. Take a quick look at his details. He looks pretty awesome. For one, he's got the coolest head sculpt ever. He's got two Decepticon symbols on his shoulders. Got some red and matte cream, kind of cream gray, I guess you could call it paint here on the chest he's got tampograph stickers they're at, they're not stickers but they used to be stickers in G1 and they're tampoed on now which looks really nice nice that same gray colored matte gray here on the sides of the wings on both sides even the thighs are painted that same gray the lower the lower part this is gray plastic and then from here down is gray paint um, that's what the back of them looks like get some hollow back of his legs but you know he looks pretty good regardless um, you have a few oh, he's got some tampos here it's like red and silver and those aren't stickers as well those are tampoed on but they do a really good job making them look like stickers we got some more details we can check out in um, plane mode but you can see but his wings have articulation as well so you can go back and forward but that looks ridiculous so I'm just putting him back a little bit it's probably good and there you go checking out his head sculpt he's got the coolest head sculpt possible and even better once you take him out aimless here has the coolest Titan Master he's got pink face and a uh, kind of like a metallic blue visor he's got a multicolored plastic here we got purple arms and legs as well as black thighs and a gray plastic uh, chest very cool got the ball joint it's the same articulation they all have 
we're going to sit him just like this because that's how he's going to sit in plane mode. All right, so transforming him. So what you want to do to transform him, you want to flip it in the hands. Okay. And we're going to remove the, the guns just because it's, for one, it's going to be cumbersome if we don't. And for two, um, I need to be able to show you some things. All right, so the first trick on the is you remove, you do the arms. So what you're going to do is you're going to, essentially, you're going to take those wings and keep them like that while you move this swing bar down and the arm stays like that so it wraps up and around like this and comes down but at the same time you gotta move the wing out of the way just like that okay but then there's a tab in the back of the shoulder there that tabs into that slot I bet a lot of people miss that because you don't really need it for one but it, it's there so let's use it and my advice is to keep these wings back if you, if you want to do it quickly because they work a lot better if they're back and then you pull fold them up to tab that tab in so as you can see the tab there tabbed it nice next we'll go with the back here and we'll flip up the canopy and little trick actually i'll show you when we're in plain mode and then you snap it down like that next up we want to take the feet and you fold them in like just like trigger happies if you don't know what that is you fold all the way in that and then this one just folds up on top like that okay put these out just a little bit so you have some room then you're going to take this and this section right here this pink section that flips up and becomes the crotch fold down meanwhile while it folds down you want to flip these around holding that in place and then once you're there you want to secure those tabs in the slots just like that and then stick it just together like that and then last but not least we take these tabs that stick off the arms here and we plug them into these holes i'll show you over here there's a slot right there and you slot it in there just like that and then the other trick I want to show is you want it because there's no real room to get into this so you want to just bend that down just a little bit so you can uh, the, talk about the canopy here so you can reach your fingernail in there lift it up and like I said he has the sitting pose Titan Masters I think they did a really good job on these these planes they look fantastic and then last but not least he has some holes on his arms that you can go underneath and you want the pegs on the bottom because they act like landing gear and we just plug the guns in like this and that my friends is misfire in his plane mode so let's check them out shall we checking out some of the details here in plane mode you got nice silver paint here details on the front of the canopy you got the Decepticon symbol painted there those tampos come out on the wings better and up here all that gray paint on the double-sided wings on both sides I mean looks good it's got molded in details that could be painted the, the guns look good yeah fantastic so uh, yeah Let's check them out with Trigger Happy, shall we? Right, so here they are together. And as you can see, Trigger Happy has his landing gear that Misfire doesn't have. But Misfire uses these pegs as landing gear, or landing uh, pads, I guess. But that's what they look like together. Trigger Happy has a much more involved transformation, but they both have pretty cool steps. They both have the pegs right here, so other Titan Masters can ride standing up on top of jets, like pick, like people do that. <laughs> they both have their figures inside them. Actually, I didn't have put his in, but here, I'll even show you. So, we'll do it with Miss Star, because he's the star of the show here. Uh, yeah, so they can ride two, two a time. All right. So we're moving trigger happy. 
to show you how to transform them back it's really easy you just want to unpeg these and then we flip down the legs like this then we pull the leg down like that so you can flip in the crotch part take the feet and they come out together you start pulling out the front the back will follow all right next you want to unpeg the the wings and the way i do it is you just unpeg it by pulling well you un it's a little easier if this isn't there to show you but we pull the wing back you see what i'm saying if you pull the wing back it unpegs automatically that one went up pretty high and then we just need to flip the wing as we fold this up it's the opposite way i showed you before just like that unpeg the feet raise the camera <laughs> And then we take this and we do that little trick I showed you so you can get out aimless. Put him aside for a minute while we double hinge this back to the back of him like that. Keeping the wings back a little bit. Flip out the hands. Just like so. And then boom. We're going to reattach the gun. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to flip the sides. I always flip flip the guns on the other side so the hollow spots don't show up from the front anyway and then like I showed you before the snapping noise is really cool and there he is back in robot mode and I'm I'm pretty happy to have this I'm definitely going for slug slinger I was gonna get them all in Takara this is actually the same as Takara face i believe don't quote me on that but that's just a beautiful head sculpt but i believe that it's the same head sculpt possibly even whoops possibly even the same um pain apps but we'll just do trigger happy really quick for those that haven't seen him he's got a really cool transformation you pull up the arms like this i'm not going to go into details go back and look at my video if you want to see it in details flip up the legs he's always tight too he's got really tight uh transformation flip that back you want to spin the chest 180 and then meanwhile you spin the waist 180 as well so he's got a lot of spinning flip the feet the other feet will follow he's really tight too i love that and then you just flip them together put the wings in the back so you can flip out the guns and the hands wings to the back flip out the guns and the hands and then we just attach his titan master i can't wait to see the titans return line for the cartoon but that's the review guys let me know what you think of the figures and the review and as always stay awesome stay subbed and stay tuned for the next video leave a like if you liked the video subscribe for more toy reviews and peace that's a wrap i'm out